this video, we will demonstrate how to apply a new topology to our object. To ensure our character is animatable, a clean topology is essential. We can define it directly in ZBrush. So let's dive in. Here we have the standard head model, which definitely needs a clean topology. To retopologize the head, we navigate to the Object section in the Tool menu and select the Z sphere. Next, we proceed to the Rigging sub palette in the Tool menu, where we can easily select the specific object we want to retopologize. Now we can see our object and the Z sphere simultaneously on the stage. To activate the retopology, we navigate to the Topology sub palette. And here we simply enable Edit Topology button. Now we can get started. By simply left clicking with the mouse, we can create new points. And to move them around, we can use the Move option located above. To remove the set points, we simply hold down the Alt key and click on the designated point with the left mouse button. If we want to retopologize symmetrically, we can activate the desired axis in the transform palette. To examine the newly created topology, simply go to the Adaptive Skin sub palette and activate the Preview button option. The keyboard shortcut for that is the A key. Here, we can also adjust the polygon density, which will later define the various polygonal intermediate stages in the Geometry sub palette for the completed model. This means that when we click on Adaptive Skin and finalize our retopology work, all the polygonal intermediate stages will be stored within the final model. To transfer all the details of our object to the new topology, we can use the projection subpalette located here. Here, we can precisely define how the details will be transferred to the new topology. The projection also takes the polypaint details into account. This feature adds flexibility to the workflow. Once the new topology is established, click on Make Adaptive Skin in the Adaptive Skin palette, and we create a new tool with the skin prefix. This new tool contains all the precise polygonal steps we meticulously configured in the Adaptive Skin menu. We can save the tool and continue using it as usual. In the next video, we'll explore an automated retopology technique.